Viewers at home, I've got a quick question. With these sunglasses on, do I look more like Neo from The Matrix, or do I look more like a bug? Bzz, bzz, bzz. Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. Folks at home, we've got a fun one today. Let me just shrink myself back down here. I've got two little pieces of AI news to talk about, and then we've got a really cool new little AI model that has been released. And in the future of this channel, in the future of the next few weeks, we've got some fun new AI projects to talk about on this channel. So get subscribed for those videos and make sure you're checking the channel as well. I am so excited. However, let's start with our first little piece of AI news. This is a CNN article. This guy is using AI to make a movie, and you can help decide what is going to happen next in the movie. So this movie, I mean, technically, yes, it is in video format, but really it's like image to image movies. So it's kind of like more of a slideshow movie using different models, Stable Diffusion, Dolly 2, GPT-3 as well to come up with the script. I will link this down below on Twitter. It's a cool little project this guy is throwing together. The movie is called Salt. It resembles many different science fiction films from the 70s, early 80s, different alien landscapes and stuff like that. Made by this guy named Fabian Steltzer. He's not a famous filmmaker or anything, but he is inspired by these new AI tools that I have been covering on this channel quite a lot lately, and this movie is being released on Twitter over time. What's really cool is that the audience can actually participate in the AI movie as it's sort of being made over the course of the weeks, and viewers can vote on what is going to happen next. And this image right here, very, very nice generation. This guy definitely knows how to generate with these AIs. This was a stable diffusion. The prompt was a luxury apartment, large windows overlooking a lush, aged mushroom jungle landscape, sci-fi film still, 1980s science fiction screenshot from a movie. It looks darn good. So yeah, this, this guy knows what he's doing for sure. He's definitely a prompt master, a prompt forger, if you will. In my little home office studio, I can make 70s sci-fi movies if I want to, he says. Definitely a very atmospheric little project he is working on, and yeah, I just love the idea of this. I love the generations he's been pulling out of Stable Diffusion, Dolly, and the likes. It all looks fascinating. So as you can see, this is the account. It's at salt underscore verse. 5,000 followers so far. You can see the trailer and such. And I definitely suggest that you guys go check it out because it really is a cool little project and this is the future of entertainment, folks. I believe one day you'll be able to go into, you know, a new type of movie theater where the whole audience gets to vote on what happens next with the movie that you were literally watching on the screen due to new AI technologies that can just create movies as you're watching them. It will be a thing one day in the future. Super exciting. But yes, folks, go check this out. Moving on to our next little piece of AI news, EMAD, of course, the CEO of Stability AI, the company that created Stable Diffusion, has been working on a new AI called Harmon AI, and he was about to send their latest announcement to over 100,000 people that signed up on the list for this new AI, but I guess MailChimp has blocked their company for some reason, and I think he is going to find a workaround so he's able to get this uh, mail announcement out. Harmon AI does look very promising. Of course, Stable Diffusion was very, very well received by the AI community as a whole. So we expect great things from Harmon AI here. This is AI for musicians by musicians. If we take a look at the website here, it is very, very exciting. Open source generative audio tools to make music production more accessible and fun for everyone. This will apparently express your creativity without limitations here. So excited for stuff like this. I've always wanted to try to make music, you know, just for fun, just as a little hobby, but the controls for being able to make it definitely are um, more on the complicated side. It's not something that's necessarily easy for everyone to do and generate your own custom infinite sound libraries. That sounds so enticing and exciting and bring power back to the artists. That really seems to be what Stability AI as a company really has set out to do so far, especially with the likes of Stable Diffusion, all open source technology here, really powerful, free AI tools that anyone can access and develop with. So yeah, very exciting. 
and hopefully we get these Harmon AI invites out soon to viewers like you who are interested in creating music with AI. All right, now getting into today's main course. This is a little replicate.com AI that has sprung up lately, pushed about one week ago. There are ways to actually run this model on your own computer at home. You can run it with COG, but it is obviously the most easy to just run it right on replicate.com. And what this is, is text to Pokemon. So this is a nice little subsidiary project where you are able to generate any kind of Pokemon from a text description. So yeah, this is very interesting. I like this. This is obviously a text to image AI, but it's very specific. And, you know, it seems like it's really simple and just fun to mess around and play around with. So obviously we've got this little example here. The prompt was Yoda and yeah, we definitely got a Yoda Pokemon. It looks pretty legit. We've also got guidance, scale, and inference steps, and this makes me believe that this is an AI that is based off of Stable Diffusion. I would not be surprised by it at all, but, you know, obviously this will probably work better to make Pokemon than just your normal Stable Diffusion because it is a fine-tuned model. We've got another example we can look at here. This was a Totoro Pokemon, so that is the famous character from Ghibli Studio. And yeah, I just want to give this a shot myself. You guys already know we're going we're gonna to be doing some fun ones here. Let's try, yeah, right off the bat, we're going to do lemon Pokemon. Just a Pokemon based off of lemons. Very quick to generate. This does look very similar to Stable Diffusion, I will say. Hmm. Yeah, that's not exactly uh, what I was expecting here. Let's go up to four outputs. All right, we definitely got some more lemon-related Pokemon characters. This one is really quite good. That definitely looks like it could be a, from the Pokemon universe. This is like a sunflower type of guy. This guy's pretty cute right here. I really like this little character design. But yeah, I mean, it's better for more than just actual Pokemon. You can generate new character designs for sure with this fine-tuned model. You know, guys, I was just checking my email and I keep getting these emails here. I don't know if this is going to focus up on the camera there. If you are a small YouTuber of any form or function, you get these emails and this is a scam email. You, you know, because if you click on who it's from, it's from like this at atlas.cz thing. That is just a scammer. They're saying we're going to pay you, you know, however much money to do a YouTube partnership collab if you just show off our game and then they send you a fake download of the game and try to steal all your files or lock your computer down or something like that. I am sick of it. Stop sending me fake emails, scam companies. But yeah, if you're a small YouTuber, watch out because those emails are rampant lately. Anyways, let's do something a little bit more fun here. We'll do Walter White. And here we go. We've got some Walter White based Pokemon. This one's pretty cool. I'd like to see a little bit more detail on the face though, but yeah, it definitely looks like this little <laughs> stubby Walter White Pokemon character. And this one down below, I mean, yeah, you can see some resemblance in there. It's a little bit more like he's a coin or something like a collectible coin with like this weird face on it. But yeah, nevertheless, this one's definitely pretty funny. Uh, let's try another famous person. We'll do Mr. Beast. I think this will be pretty funny here. We'll do a Mr. Beast Pokemon character. Okay, this one did not really work out. These Pokemon definitely look like Pokemon, but they don't really resemble Mr. Beast, the YouTuber. Uh, let's just try YouTuber in general. Just do YouTuber Pokemon. I'll put the Pokemon in there. Eh, yeah, we'll just put it in there. Whatever. YouTuber Pokemon. Submit. Okay, interesting. They do just more or less look like Pokemon. All right, let's try President Obama. All right, we got our Obama Pokemon. This one, I mean, I don't understand what's going on here. That does not look like Obama. But this definitely looks like uh, it resembles Obama a little bit. He's got the American flag colors. You know, American president's really getting there, picking up on that. This one, I mean, I, I, it definitely resembles a Pokemon. I don't know where Obama fits in there. He's got some, some you know, American colors on there, which I guess fits. But yeah, this is definitely like, go Pokemon, Barack Obama. <laughs> that's, what, that's what would come out is Obama if he was a Pokemon. All right, this one's going to be really obscure. We're going we're gonna to do Shel Silverstein, the American author of the, the Giving Tree. How much is the Giving Tree? Eight bucks? Oh my God, it's free with Prime. You can get the Giving Tree for free with a Kindle. Okay. We're going to do a Shell Silverstein Pokemon. This is super random, I know. He's famous for being the most terrifying looking author. I would not want to run into that guy. He might write me a nice poem or book. 
but I will be frightened the whole time. And the results are in. Uh, vaguely resembles Shell Silverstein. Definitely looks like Pokemon, though. I mean, it's it's got the Pokemon aspect absolutely down. If you want to make, like, I mean, I'm pushing this thing to its max. I'm saying make a Pokemon out of Shell Silverstein. This this guy right here. I'm trying to say make a Pokemon out of this guy, and it's it's. I mean, it's doing its best. He's bald, so they got that aspect down. Uh, I guess the this one's probably the best looking, but. If you really, I mean, you guys are probably not going to make Shell Silverstein Pokemon, so I think you'll get better results than I am. But it definitely is working well, I think, given what I'm throwing at it. Let's do something very simple. We'll do uh, Ronald McDonald. I have a feeling that this one will come out well. All right, these are far more <laughs> accurate than the ones that we've been doing lately. Yeah, this is definitely like a Ronald McDonald Pokemon. He comes out of a little McDonald's Happy Meal pokeball you just throw him down there he is ronald mcdonald as a pokemon this one is fantastic he's got like the clown poofy hair it's definitely all mcdonald's colors i think in all of these you see him this one's cool too he's got like these blue legs but yeah these are all very, pretty abstract and really creative renditions of a ronald mcdonald pokemon i am impressed by this one all right, we've definitely got a blocky, more steve-like character i think i think you can see a little bit of steve from minecraft uh, resemblance that was the prompt by the way I didn't even announce it yeah the prompt was Steve from Minecraft and yeah these Pokemon definitely resemble Steve from Minecraft I think they're a little bit more blocky which is is nice to see definitely accurate all right we got to see the Mark Zuckerberg okay these these are pretty hilarious again this one's like a weird coin it almost looks like one of those strange Mayan calendars is this like the Mark Zuckerberg Pokemon Mayan calendar um, but yeah I mean you could definitely see like a human face resemblance in there this one for sure you definitely getting some of that Zuck he's kind of got like this blank alien stare very very resemblance of uh, the Zuck himself and you know there's some weird brown blobs right next to him not sure what that's about uh, maybe that's his uh, garbage Facebook power or something like that this <laughs> Oh, man, <laughs> this one's good. We've got like a dinosaur Pokemon Zuckerberg. Look at him. He looks he looks just absolutely ready for some battle. You throw down the Facebook ball out. Out comes Mark Zucker Pokemon ready to fight and battle for you. Uh, hopefully he doesn't lose, though. Uh, this one's this one's amazing. Very happy with this result. This one's going in the thumbnail. That is for sure. All right. I ran Walter White again. Some. Probably better results than we had earlier, but generally it's the same thing. All right, I tried Wally -E from that famous uh, Disney movie Toy Story, I think it was. Yeah, that sounds about right. And uh, as you can see, it did a pretty good job. Understands that he's a, a robot, and you know, this looks pretty similar to a Wally, -E, like little camera eye. Um, but it doesn't really resemble Wally -E all that much. But they're definitely very, very cool Pokemon designs. Like, I would just believe that's a Pokemon straight up. I'd be like, yep. Yeah, that's like some robot, stone, metal, Pokemon. Finally, let's finish up with Finn from Adventure Time. Okay, Finn from Adventure Time. Not seeing much of a resemblance here at all, but, you know, it definitely has like the blue color down. It's just really focused on the Pokemon side of things. So it really depends on which characters and celebrities work better than others in this. But it's a very, very fun model to mess around with. I will link it down below and you guys can use it right here on replicate.com. It is very cheap to run, uh, but you do actually get a very good free trial with Replicate. So if you haven't really used Replicate before, you'll be able to use this model plenty for completely free. Anyways, folks, if you generate anything cool with this model, please let me know on my Discord server that is linked down below in the description. And you can just literally paste it into the AI Generations channel and just do at Matt VidPro. I don't mind if you guys at me on my own Discord server. I want to see your cool generations. I might post them on my uh, community channel on YouTube. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Tune into the channel for some more upcoming fun AI projects, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.